Today we're going to be making a repair on our filter. So we are going to start by putting it in service mode. So we turn everything off. I'm going to take just a moment. As soon as everything's off, we're going to close our valves down here on our intake, on our suction, so that we don't lose prime in our lines while we do this. Uh, what we have is a leaking drain plug. Uh, normally we would just replace the drain plug, but we did, and it's still leaking. So now we're just going to replace the bottom of the filter tank because the threads are worn out. So I'm just going to get down here and unscrew this. I'm not going to do anything else before I take this off. Once it's loose enough, you should be able to grab it by hand. everything drained we're going to go ahead and use a large pair of channel locks here and grip our our inlet and our outlet and we're just going to go counterclockwise to loosen should just need the channel locks to loosen it and once it's done you can take it off by hand These are both loosened and removed. The filter can just slide away. I we'll have to kind of wiggle it out of here. You know, break the line. And now our filter's removed. All right, now I'm just going to take my socket here and I'm going to remove the band clamp. That off, we should just be able to roll it apart. It should just come off like that. Get that off to the side. And we'll remove our top. Careful not to put your hands all around the outside. This is made of fiberglass. And we're just going to take all the insides out. The top manifold and our cartridges. To take the uh, current filter bottom out of here, we're going to remove this. We need this. Set it off the side. Grab our new one over here. Get this in place. Get all lined up. Put our standpipe back into the middle. And we're going to try and get this back in here on the plumbing. It's just got to line it up nice. And then it's going to take a little bit of force, but you're going to have to press them in. To realign up the tank. And then we just need to screw these back on. Hand tight will do for the moment. and tight with our hands and then we will come back with our channel locks and just get them snug we don't want to over tight that will break the plastic Now we're going to clean our filters and get that reassembled. Now we're going to go ahead and spray down our filters, get them all cleaned out, so filter properly again. Because this pool features a natural stone waterfall that the customer runs 24-7, this puts a lot of rock dust into the pool that naturally gets stuck in the filter cartridges. In this case, the cartridges would not clean up well enough to filter correctly, so the decision was made to replace them instead. 
All right, we got our cleaned filter cartridges back in here, and we got our top manifold back on, along with our air bleed screen right here on top. I've put the belly band back on already, and all we have to do is take our top here, put that back on, get it all lined up. I like to make sure my gauge is facing out towards the rest of the equipment. Once we have this all lined up and down, we can get the actual band clamp back around it. Now it's together, we got it all cinched up here, and we're now we just need to get it back up and running and everything primed up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our filter pump in the panel, and we're gonna come over here. We're gonna open our lines. Uh, we're gonna open just our main drain for now, and turn on our pump in the back, since it's a VSF. Put it on full speed to prime. Once water starts coming out, we can close it. There we go. Now we're just going to do a visual inspection for any leaks after we're done. Everything is looking pretty good. Nothing from the unions, nothing from the drain plug. Take a look around the belly band. Make sure there's no leaks coming up there. Filter all repaired, everything refined. Last thing we do, we just need to come back to our panel and put it back in auto. And we are all done.